Hello friends, <clears throat> in this video I'm going to do one excellence question uh, taken from NCA 2009 exam paper on the topic of integration. So this is a question on differential equation and you want to prove something. So the question says, okay, the statement says, the rate of change of a quantity n is given by differential equation dn by dt is equal to kn. Okay, so this basically means the rate of change of n with respect to time is proportional to n. Okay, that's very logical. Okay, so if suppose n is a population, the rate of change of population is proportional. That's why you got the k, which is the constant of proportionality. So yeah, what they are saying is basically this means dn by dt is proportional to n. That's what this means okay so now what they're saying is if n is a positive number if n has positive values n1 and n2 at time t1 and t2 respectively prove k is equal to 1 over t1 minus t2 times natural log of n1 over n2 so this is, seems to be very difficult but uh, as i'll go over it you'll find it's not that difficult so what does this mean? This implies, so this implies, can I say dn is, uh, okay, before that, what can I do? So let me separate the n's and the dt's. So I hope you understand this is 1 over n dn is equal to k dt. What I've done is I've divided both sides by 1 over n and multiplied both sides by dt. Okay, so I hope this is clear. So now I'm going to integrate both sides. So integration of 1 over n dt, dn, sorry, is equal to k integration of dt. So integration of 1 over n is natural log of, natural log of n, n is positive is equal to kt plus say c the constant of integration you can put the constant of integration on only one side so let me change color let me make it blow so this is this is same as here the base of natural log is e so can i say uh, if you write this in the power form this is the natural log form so I can say n is equal to e to the power kt plus c. So n is equal to using uh, the rule of law or the power. Can I say this is e to the power c times e to the power kt. And e to the power c is a constant. It's an arbitrary constant. So you can say n is equal to a e kt where a is equal to e to the power c so this is a different or this is the equation of n with respect to t where a and k are constant and t is the variable okay so now what they're saying is when t is equal to t1 you have got n is equal to n1 and when t is equal to t2 at time t2 n is equal to n2 so let us put this in this equation so can i say n1 is equal to a e k t1 and n2 is equal to a e k t2 so if you divide it therefore n1 divided by n2 is equal to a e k t1 over a e k t2 so the a can be cancelled so n1 over n2 is equal to is equal to a will be cancelled so e to the power k t1 over e to the power k t2 which is nothing but e to the power k t1 minus k t2 therefore n1 over n2 
is equal to e to the power k you can take common t1 minus t2 okay so let's see back look back what is that you want to prove you want to isolate the k okay and k is equal to something i want to make k the subject so what can i do so this is equal to if i take natural log if i take say natural log of n1 over n2 if i take natural log of both of this side i take natural log of this side so this is natural log of uh, e to the power uh, natural log of let me write properly that is e to the power k times t1 minus t2 okay now natural log of a power using the log rule i can say natural log of n1 over n2 is equal to using the log rule of power this drops down so k times t1 minus t2 times natural log of e and natural log of e has a base of e and this is nothing but this will become 1 because natural log of e to the base e is 1 therefore i can say natural log of n1 over n2 times 1 over t1 minus t2 is equal to k therefore that's what we wanted k is nothing but 1 over t1 minus t2 times natural log of n1 over n2 and this is what we wanted and this is the proof and if you can get till here you get in i think that's what we wanted and that's what we got and you can be proud of yourself and you can give yourself three stars see you in the next video